Your Midco Sports Network game recap. Frost Arena on Thursday night. Women's basketball. South Dakota State beats Denver 80-52. to If you hear some auction noise in the background, very yeah. cool thing going on here tonight. They had uh, breast cancer awareness support. Jackrabbits uh, wearing the pink uniforms. They're auctioning those off. People bidding $300, $400 for those uh, to support breast cancer awareness. Very cool deal. Yeah, great deal. And uh, a lot of crowds sticking around for that. And... Uh, I think the crowd that came over from Mitchell's about to bid up a couple yeah. jerseys there. <laughs> uh, South Coast State, kind of a strange game tonight. Struggled at times against Denver. Denver came into this game uh, just 2-11 and 11 in summer league play. The Jackrabbits at 11-1 and one and opposite sides of the standings. And South Coast State got off to a nice start with Kerry Young making her first three shots. Well, the first quarter went just like everyone kind of thought it would. It was 20 four to four at the end of the first 10 minutes and it was Miller and Young getting it done. Macy Miller, 13 points, seven rebounds, three assists. She was one of five on threes, and that was one of the issues tonight for the Jackrabbits. They go 10 of 36 on the three-point shot. But Gabby Bover playing some defense, the steal and the score, and the Jackrabbits scored a lot on points off turnovers, on fast break, on second chance points. But it was a 12-point game. Denver cut it down even further than that early in the third quarter as Paige Bradley got hot. Bradley ends up with 13 tonight to lead Denver. Well, Denver outscores South Dakota State 17 to nine in that second quarter. They hit five of their 11 shots. South Dakota State really struggled scoring, but in the second half, Madison Ebert did think, get things going. Yeah, they regained a little bit of control as we got late in the third quarter. Ebert made three threes in the uh, second half on her way to 12 points. And then Ellie Thompson kind of caught fire as the traded turns scoring down the stretch Thompson with 10 of her 14 coming in the second half well Thompson's playing at a very high level shooting the basketball great she was five of six tonight she's hit 15 of her last 19 shots in her last three games South Coast State gets 33 more field goal attempts Jack Rabbits with 22 offensive rebounds tonight seven of those for Clarissa over Jack Rabbits just eight turnovers on the final numbers here by CU Mortgage Direct and after this win, the Jackrabbits are 12 and one. So is South Dakota, and they play each other on Saturday at the Dakota Dome. Well, a huge game Saturday, and South Dakota State's certainly gonna look to try to get some payback after South Dakota came into Frost Arena and won here earlier this season, Tom. But you look at how that's all kind of shaping up, and it certainly is gonna be a game for the number one seed in the Summit League Tournament and for the regular season championship in all likelihood. Now, both teams still need to go to IUPUI. That's going to be a tough road trip for both of them, but that game Saturday is certainly looking like it's going to be for all the marbles. SDSU at USD, live on Midco Sports Network, 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon at the Dakota Dome. South Dakota State wins here on Thursday night, 80-52 to 52 over Denver, and that is your Midco Sports Network game recap.